Hey, I'm Maya Faber, and in this class, I will teach you how to vectorize in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. When Adobe Illustrator on the iPad was released as an app, one of the most wanted features was to be able to vectorize with just a few taps. And now the tool is here. It's simply called the Vectorize tool, and in this class, I will teach you the ins and outs of this tool and how to use it to vectorize different type of artwork such as hand-drawn watercolors and line drawings, as well as digital sketches and texturized colored artwork. I'm a professional surface pattern designer who loves to create both pixel-based and vector-based artwork. And to be able to vectorize directly on my iPad is a huge deal. It saves me time, energy, and personally, I feel that the more I can do on my iPad, the better. If you are familiar with the desktop version of Adobe Illustrator, you might have used the tool Image Trace. The Vectorize tool in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad works in a similar way and gives you the same result, which for me is very impressive. This is a beginner's friendly class. I do, however, recommend that you have some basic knowledge of Adobe Illustrator on the iPad before you take this class, which you can learn in my class Introduction to Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. This is a class for anyone who are interested in vectorizing your artwork or even photos for that matter. To take this class, you need to have Adobe Illustrator on the iPad installed with at least the version 2.0, which was released in October 2021. By the end of this class, you will know how to vectorize all sorts of artwork in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. You'll know the ins and outs of the Vectorize tool and how to use it to successfully vectorize your artwork.